waters of baptism. The cup of salvation, God's holy word. Regardless of our circumstances or our situations, we offer us peace that passes understanding. Father, this second week of Advent, keep us in perfect peace as our mind is stayed in the truth of your powerful love. Thank you for your mighty, sovereign hand. Help us to trust fully in you and rest in the peace that you offer. It's in the precious name of Jesus we pray. Amen. How beautiful is the messenger standing on the mountains. 
the messenger announcing peace, the messenger who brings good news, the messenger who proclaims salvation for all. Even watchmen on the towers cannot help but sing for joy. So we break forth in song, for the Lord is comforting and redeeming creation. morning our word in scripture is taken from Psalm 4 8 and Isaiah 32 17 Psalm 4 8 in peace I will both lie down and sleep for thou alone O Lord makest me dwell in safety Isaiah 32 17 
and the effect of righteousness will be peace, and the result of righteousness, quietness and trust forever.
Did you know you were fulfilling God's plan when you came out there that weekend? No. I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> well, if you hadn't bought it for Mom's weekend, my life would have been very... No, if you hadn't introduced me to Bobby, my life would have been very, very different. I probably wouldn't be standing here today. Who knows? Matt, did you, if you have anything to add? <laughs> did you know you were fulfilling God's plan for me at that time? If you hadn't invited me for Mom's weekend, again, I say my life would have been very, very different. If you're struggling right now, I hope this church and this town gives you the love and the acceptance you need to heal. Each of you is probably influencing someone right now and fulfilling God's plan for them. I firmly believe God put Hanson here so we would have the new housing development. He led that battle. I believe Caitlin ended up here to help our church work through this time of change. Just like I've seen so many of you step up and do what was necessary in this time of change. Believe me, I wouldn't be here waiting for Caitlin today. Caitlin, do you have a story to share about God fulfilling His plan in your life? Sure. So a number of years ago, um, I was working a job where there were all kinds of really awful things happening. I mean, unethical and frankly illegal, and I was kind of the only line of defense, and it was super stressful, and I was questioning, you know, God, why would I go through this, and why would I, um, you know, what, what is my point here if I can't, can't make a difference, um, and I ended up leaving that job, and shortly thereafter, I started getting calls from other clients who said, hey, I heard you've dealt in business crisis before, and guess what? We're on fire, help, help, please. And so, you know, at the time I had no idea what was going on or why it was such a struggle, but looking back I can say, okay, this was the preparation so that when I walk into a, a new business client that says, oh, we're in crisis, we're freaking out, I can say, oh, this is, this is nothing, we got this, we can do it. So, yeah. Thank you. Does anyone else have a short story to tell, share with us? How God changed your life. Okay, got one. Yeah, this really is a, a very short story, but it's, I think, if you are struggling in anything like Jadine has mentioned or Caitlin has mentioned, and if you are uh, to the point where you're you know, kind of at rock bottom, that the, the place that you can turn, and I know I've turned, is to God. And God's peace, I think, is a, uh, it's a lasting peace. It's a peace that will never let you down. And uh, it's something that I know that I've found that I can depend on. And you may not be able to, to depend on many other things in life or in this world, but God's peace is there and it's, it's uh, forever. There's a scripture that I've kept in my wallet for a number of years. And it's from Philippians, it's uh, chapter four, verse six and seven. Do not be anxious about anything but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Thank you. Anyone else have a story? I have a, another story. Uh, my husband and I were victims of the farm crisis and we lost our farms and our house and had to relocate in Oklahoma City in hopes of finding a job. I found one with the Oklahoma Conference of Churches doing advocacy work for other farmers that had lost their uh, farms. And my husband was still looking. 
my mother told me that Mike needs to call it, needs to be a college professor. And I that I needed to call John Elton as she had gone to high school with him. Now can you imagine how many years ago that would have been? <laughs> well anyway, and she said he had something to do with the college or something. Well, Mike was smart. I mean he started college at 16 and graduated in three years, but a college professor, I ignored her. Finally, I responded and I called John Eldon. The conversation went something like this. Hello, is this John Eldon? This is Dr. Davis. Who is this? Hmm. Well, I, I, I am Jane Morrison and my mother said she went to high school with you and she said you had something to do with the college there and that I should call you. He said, I'm the president. What do you want? Well, that really took me back. I mean, it's like, oh. I told him about Mike and he responded. He said, having in my office, 10 o'clock, I mean 11 o'clock tomorrow. I'm retiring and tomorrow is my last day. Now what would the odds be? That had to be a God thing. Yes, Mike got the job and happily taught there until he died a few years later. My advocacy work with the Oklahoma Conference of Churches, working with other farmers that were losing their farms, uh, was able to get me an award from the uh, Oklahoma Social Workers Organization as the most outstanding person in the state of Oklahoma that year. And then later on, to get into Marcus Who's Who, and then get a job with Oklahoma City Public Schools as a school psychologist. God takes care of us. Look how he's done. Many of you have got other stories you'd like to share. No? Okay. Well, anyhow, I've got treasures from when he shared things, changed my life, and took it. Um, another time. He directed me to go against my wishes. I'd been offered a teaching job at Denver schools to be on television and teach reading. I turned it down to move with my family to a rural town in Oklahoma. I absolutely did not want to go. I fought it. I fought it every step of the way. I begged not to have to do that. But God directed me to go. Now, at my age, I look back on it, and that was the happiest time of my life. And I would have missed all that if I had gone where I wanted to go, and not where God told me I had to go. No other stories? Well, I hope what you take away from today's message is that even in times of transition, when you can't see the path, God is directing your steps and He will give you His peace along the way. Thank you for today.
something meager in return. Thank you, Lord, for this place that we live. Thank you for the sunshine. Thank you for those who are in attendance this morning and who have made times in their day to come and worship you. Lord, help this church. Help us as we go forward in transition. Help us, Lord, to do the things that you would have us do to find a new pastor and to serve this community. Thank you, Lord, for your many blessings. In Jesus' name, amen.
medical issues. Um, there's so much of that in this world today. Um, and I also pray a prayer of thanks for everyone who's so deeply invested in this wonderful church of ours. And um, just thank you so much that you've uh, brought these people to us. And uh, God, thank you so much for the peace that you give us, um, especially in times of transition and change. Um, all this we pray in the prayer that you've taught us. Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us give this us day our daily bread, bread and, forgive and forgive us our debts, as, as we forgive our debtors. debtors. And do, do not let us, us fall into temptation, but deliver us, us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. If you would stand and join us for our hymn of Sunday.